guys, what's up and welcome back to another episode of Crazier Craft. So I uh, last recorded inside my little Trivago. Can you shut up, horse? He has been out here this entire time. Actually, how do I make him love me? I will make you love me, little horsey. He won't let me sit on him. You stupid horse, that's okay. I don't need you any. What's the controls for Zoom? I need to figure this out. There we go. Don't you talk to me that, oh. Oh my god, it looked like his head disappeared. Okay, I feel like that horse is haunted, so let's just back it up. Everyone, back it up, back it up. What's this? I don't know what that is. Anyways, we're in creative mode because I figured we could uh, do a little bit of uh, some reworking, some magic on our little Trivago Hotel. If you miss my live stream, which I did, um, a uh, little bit ago, we decided to make this a um, hotel for weary travelers. So when people spawn in and they don't have anywhere to go, and maybe they're not whitelisted like, <laughs> like how I was and I, I was just like panicking trying to live. Um, they could just be like, oh sweet, I'll just stay at Trivago. A nice humble resort for weary travelers. Here I have a bed, a little bookshelf. Um, I think I put an apple somewhere. There's also a bathroom. I put a little bathroom. Over here, it's pretty great. I mean, it's a cute spot. We got a tub, we got a shower, there's a little toilet. You can sit on the toilet. Oh, <laughs> that was a ripe one. I felt that one. I felt that one in my cheeks. Let's get off of this. That was intense. I, oh, I didn't end up putting the apple on there. I tried to, but uh, this was just like where I had started. But I think we can do some magic here, guys. Maybe we can even do like a little bridge where these two connect. And um, it's a little basic for, for it to be like where I live, but I'm also like okay with that. Maybe I'm like the inn owner or something. I don't know, I could spruce up this little village too. I don't know, that's what I'm thinking. Some people had suggested like a rainbow tree tower. So let's take a look at some of the wood options we have in here to see how well we can really do this up. Oh, I am already liking this a lot. Yes, I filmed a clip with H earlier, so I have some of the stuff that he gave me. I'll show you guys that clip in a second. But whoa, wow, is a wow! Look at all this dope stuff! That's pretty cool. I like this. Ooh, the planks are cool too. The leaves are pretty neat. Ooh, ooh, look at all this, all these wood options too. This is pretty cool. It's like chiseled wood in a bunch of different shapes. Oh, that's, this looks great. This is awesome. Oh, illusion wood. What the heck? Who needs that? Here is what we are working with. This is too dark. Get rid of that. I like this purple. We're going with some funky colors here. Let's switch these two around. Let's see what this looks like. I mean, like, I don't mind it. I don't mind it, but maybe that's too much. Maybe we just stick to four. Can we stop making noises? What's going on over there? You okay? The wildlife on this server are, are just so crazy. Hey, I kind of like those colors. I think they're kind of cool. I'm gonna just double check. Ooh, la 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 la. That's like a little too dark. I don't know why, but I like that color a bit more. Let's take a look at this ook. I mean, this is kind of cool too. Those like little planks. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Like that's kind of neat. That's interesting. Okay, it's, it's between these. What also, what is this button that people keep pushing? Oh, we have a baddie bad boy in there. Someone's trying to do a research project in the library, you little psycho. I don't know if I like the smooth wood or if I like that. I don't really know, but I'm gonna transform this bad boy. Maybe I'll keep some of the wood. Maybe I won't. Let's Trivago this biz. Here's a progress shot. This is gonna take me some time. Having a little seaweed break. This is really hard to eat. Five hours later. Five hours later. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Trivago Hotel. Open for all you weary travelers that are just loading onto the server and need a place to rest your cutesy little head. <laughs> oh my god, this took me so long. I replaced all of the blocks and have eight floors of hotel to explore. Let me give you the outside look, the look around. We have three different decks for chilling observing, taking in the view. We also have a campfire deck for roasting marshmallows, making some s'mores, um, but that's not it. It goes all the way up, all the way up. And I'm not just talking like we're stopping here. We go to the treetops, people, but I'll show you that in a second. Let's get started. Let me take you on a tour of the Trivago Hotel. So we have um, a little mailbox right here in case anyone wants to leave me some mail. Hint, hint, hint. <laughs> Come on, guys. 
Simulator, please. I added a sign. A gamer brewery establishment, because some people didn't know what it was. So you walk right in. 12 bedrooms, two suites, two cozy villas, eight treetop beds. Trivago Hotel for weary travelers. Kitchen, bathroom, business center, and viewing decks. <gasps> Come on inside. So we walk in. It, it looks a little creepy. It's like, mm, what's going on here? Listen, there's not a lot of stuff for me to build and decorate with, so I gotta use what I got. You can ding that little bell, but no one's gonna come. You kind of just have to like figure it out on your own. What I do hope people do is sign the guest book. You can come here and you can sign, and like basically they have these at hotels where you say like, I had a great time, the service was awesome, blah, 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 blah. Then you sign your name and like the day that you came. So, I don't know, it's just a cute thing to look back on. So hopefully if people come visit. So if you make a immediate left, we have a business center, complete with books, we got stereos, we got Nyan Kitty just chilling on the TV. If you gotta upload some files, we have a, t we have a computer, we have a printer. If you want to just relax, read a book, uh, I don't know. I tried to put, I put the boom boxes there to make them look like speakers. Kind of works, kind of doesn't. If we go into here, we have the kitchen. This is a shared uh, community kitchen. So we got toast toasting, you got a microwave, you got your fridge, cutting board, we got cookies stacked up. Just a cute little place for you to come in here, cook up whatever you need, and then head out the door. Um, and then we have a community or a shared bathroom. So you got your sink. I added these guys on both sides with the little medicine cabinets. We have the tub all the way full. The uh, toilet going. Um, looking looking pretty pretty good. And then if you go on up here, this is floor one. So let's let's head on up. I can show you guys uh, what else is going on. This is our first leisure deck. So you can come out here. You can kind of just chill. Look, taking the flowers. Maybe work on your bullet journal. I don't know. You tell me what you're going to do. What would you do on this deck? Leave a comment down below and let me know. We have a little bird bath too. I set out some flowers. It's just a cool little area for our hotel uh, people to come and chill. So this is the first suite. A suite is meant to have more than just a basic hotel room. It's meant to have like a computer uh, desk area, maybe like a little kitchen suite. So we have the the fridge, the microwave, and a uh, washer to wash their clothes, complete with a little armor stand and like nice cool windows to look out. I called this the pink room. So that's our first suite. If we go up one more floor, we'll be able to see the second suite, which is the purple suite. Uh, this one's kind of my favorite. I just like the way it's spaced out a little bit better. It just feels more natural and more nice. Same stuff as the pink suite, just a little bit of a different layout. This is the flower deck. There's like two flowers here. I say flower deck because it's mainly just a field. Gosh, there's a lot happening right there. There's a lot of animals just chilling there for whatever reason. Okay, this is floor three. Let's go up to floor four, which is, I think the only thing we have is the campfire deck. So we have, I found these little fires, little campfires, and I put some marshmallows and a picture frame and, or item frame and a little bar of chocolate. You can come up here, roast some marshmallows, we have some cookies up here. I don't know, I just thought it was cute. Definitely probably a fire hazard, but you know, whatever. That's floor four. Heading on up to floor five, we have the sunshine room where I made everything yellow, opened up the windows. It's not a suite, it's just like a cozy little room for whoever's uh, staying here. They can kind of just relax and they're gonna get a whole heck of a lot of sunshine. We go up one more floor and can you guess which room this is? It is the moon room! I did blue tinted windows and it's in the same style as the sunshine room. Okay. Now moving on to floor seven, which was supposed to be the final floor, but then I had a, I had a grand idea, guys. I was like, what if it doesn't end here? So this is the observation deck where people like, basically it's right below the, where the uh, leaves kind of start to fan out from the tree, but it's, it's up pretty high. You can see pretty far, but I took it one step further. Climb up for treetop bedrooms. So I call these sky rooms and you're gonna have to climb a ways up to get to the t the tippity top of this tree. Actually, I kind of went a little crazy. I gotta close up some of these. Okay, that's good. This will take like, I think it takes at least 10 seconds. It's a trip. We're still going. I can see the end is near though. Did I get all these guys? Okay, cool, yeah. I was exploring a tiny bit. So I was like poking holes to see how far up I could go. So you get to the top and I say, stay on the gold path. That's just for people's safety. 
but if you can see we have sky rooms that go all the way around the treetops I'll give you like this like kind of like bigger view so you can see what it looks like but these rest on top of the tree I think eventually it'd be fun to connect um, this other tree to this one but for this episode I wasn't gonna go too crazy I was gonna do two trees that would be insane so I just stuck to one but I hope you guys think this is cool if you go this way you can see sky room one I can just take a nap look up at the sky we have sky room two right here you just like keep going along the path and you can see all of the eight sky rooms I have like a little ladder that goes down too we can go like straight back to base from there giving you the full roundabout tour this is the last one sky room eight but yeah this is my tree vago hotel open for business as promised I did shoot a clip with H so I kind of wanted to show you guys that before I end this video but if you guys enjoyed it make sure you give it a huge thumbs up it lets me know that you want more and hit subscribe so you know when I post new videos which it was every two days but I think we're getting back or getting closer oh my gosh look at all those zombies we're definitely getting closer to getting back to daily uploads and I'm so excited for when that's gonna happen but yeah this is the Trivago Hotel H is gonna explain a little thing or two about dinosaurs to me and I'm pretty excited because I think my next episode, I'm gonna have to figure out how to make a dinosaur. I'll probably make a little home close to my Trivago Hotel, or maybe take up residence in one of the one of the hotel suites temporarily. Uh, let's cut to that clip right now. Oh my God, has she gotten bigger? What? What has gotten know? bigger? H, what are you doing over here? Megan. H. Oh my God, come over here, come over here, quick, 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 quick. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Whoa. Look at this. Look at what I did. What is this? It's gonna be an aquarium for my new dinosaur. <laughs> Wait, what? An aquarium? Yeah. What? Is it like a fish dinosaur or something? It's a Nessie. <gasps> Is it Lapras? Yes, it's a plus. What? That's awesome. Shh. Don't scare her. Wait, where is it? No, that's not Nessie. That's this, I haven't revived Nessie yet. Oh, 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 you haven't done it yet. Well, do you not see my triceratops in here? Are you not amazed by my triceratops? You, well, I'm confused because, you know, you said Nessie, and then I'm looking at a triceratops. Oh, it's a baby. It's so cute. Yeah, she's growing. She gave me more health. Oh, my gosh. She's so big. I didn't even know you could do dinosaurs. This is incredible. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is what I've been focusing oh, on. I'm trying to make something. like a post-apocalyptic dinosaur thing over here. Oh. That's why, that's why the aquarium's in some interesting blocks over there. I like it. I think it looks cool. It's very Jurassic Park. Right? That's yeah. I'm into it. But wait, where's Nessie? Okay, like, I what? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I, I don't understand what you're saying. I don't know what any of this means. Okay, so this right here, I got very lucky Whoa. and got a plesiosaur DNA. I got, oh, here. How do you find these things? So that, this right here is an analyzer. And those little fossil DNA things, uh, I don't think I have any on me. Wait, I might have some in my backpack. I do not. Oh. Uh, you find them like all over the place and it's like, oh, this is a, oh God. I don't remember the name of them. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's a like, little complicated. If I put the DNA for the plesiosaur in here, uh -huh. it does nothing. Oh. So, what I need to do is get some meat, some oh. raw meat, and throw that <gasps> in there. And when it comes out, do you know what it will be? Uh, a chicken nugget? A big chicken nugget, a plesiosaur. How will it come out? Well, an egg, an egg of a plesiosaur. Oh, an egg. Well, that's what the triceratops did, so I'm kind of assuming that's what that'll do. It doesn't look like it's doing anything. Yeah, it's really slow. Oh, okay, is it the green stuff goes down or something? Yeah, oh, no, no, I see it. How much beef it has. The oh, yeah, DNA, oh, so we gotta wait, and then a little egg will pop out, and then we have to wait for the egg to hatch? Mm-hmm, but in the meantime, what we can do is, I have iron somewhere, but here, we gotta go fill up that tank with water. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take so long. <gasps> oh, no, it'll be quick, we just gotta make infinite sources. Oh, okay, you're right, that shouldn't be too bad. No, it'll be nice and quick. It should be, when we're done, that should be done, and we could revive them. Is this your house right there, back there? Yeah, that looks that that fun. I mean, I haven't even made my house, so like, uh, you so know. You're over here being a noob and judging me. No, no, I wasn't judging you. I mean, like, you know. Uh huh. I okay. don't believe you. Well, uh, yeah, it's true. You shouldn't believe me. <laughs> I've never believed you a day before in my life. Uh, same. So all we need to do. Oh, what what is the best way of doing this actually? I don't oh, know. I, I thought you had a plan. You know, I normally do, but this time I don't. We're gonna place 
uh, cobblestone blocks all on this level and then put water on top of it and then break the cobblestone. Ah! <laughs> you sound so excited. I have no cobblestone blocks. I literally have nothing. Do you need food? Do you, do you need help, Megan? I think I left my food somewhere. I have an apple and some seeds. That's okay. I'm fine. Wow, I love how you like got me to film a clip with you and you're just having me work for you. <laughs> I, what work have you done? I did. I brought water over here. You made me do water stuff. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sounds like a hard life for you, Megan. It is, I really. The apocalypse just happened, and you're over here complaining about doing a little thing with water. With water. Fresh water. <gasps> no! 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 What? <gasps> do, you, do you see the chat? Yes! What happened? I don't know. I didn't know that could happen. My, my plesiosaur! Oh my gosh! No way! What's gonna happen? Is that that mean that it was wasted? That DNA that you had? I don't know! <laughs> no. oh! Whoa! Whoa! What in the heck is that? Whoa, your your tr baby triceratop is pissed. Oh my gosh, oh my that God. thing is inking everywhere. Ew. Kill him? No, don't kill him. What? I want to kill him. Oh, ouch. Oh my gosh, that looks that looks so terrifying, dude. I'm, I'm going to kill him. Oh, it's called a phallosaurus. Yeah, you probably got to kill it. That's what they call me. Oh, man. It... Wait, 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 wait. We still have the plesiosaur DNA. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Whoa. Life's... Okay, we... We still got every- oh. Ew. <laughs> oh. That's it so is. gross. Ew. You're getting slime balls. It's not the end of the it world. It inked everywhere. Dude, your triceratop knew and it hated what was happening. Yeah. my She's really smart. Well, she's very intelligent. That was really nasty. Now I can make another culture vat, but which it, is like a cultivator. That's crazy that it broke the entire thing, though. No, yeah, it looks like it blew up. Yeah, what a risky situation. At least it got us the stuff back. Like, I'm not too worried because... Yeah, that would have sucked if you lost everything. Yeah, the plesiosaur DNA is what I really cared about. Yeah. But it's back. Okay, okay. all right. Go, go back to cobblestone. -y. Okay, back to filling up the giant aquarium. Focus, Meg. Stop okay. getting distracted. I, you got distracted. Hey, I, I saw my plesiosaur's life flash before my eyes. That was right. pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie. We got phaleosaur flesh. Ew. Look at what I can do with it. I can make biomass with it. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Don't know what that does, but interesting. Fancy. Do I have enough cobblestone? Do you have any more cobblestone? No, you gave me cobblestone. <laughs> Remember, I have can nothing. Go... What is this black stuff? It's like oil or something. I don't oh, know. Oh, weird. I haven't messed with it yet. <gasps> okay, let's go check out the cultivator. Okay. Hopefully, it hasn't failed. No, it hasn't yet. It's... <gasps> It's like so close. It's so close to being done. I'm going to go finish off that creeper really quick because now I'm nervous that he's going to just walk in and kill us. Okay. And my babies. Ooh, yeah. I'll yep. be watching. I'm watching this thing go. Like, do plesiosaurs ever live on land? Am I supposed to put, like, a block underneath her, like, when she's an egg? I assume so, right? I have no clue what you're saying. Okay. I'm going to look up plesiosaur and I'm going to get some info on her before we do this. Yeah. Okay. Is that the dinosaur name for the Lapras? Yep. Oh, got it. Lapras is based off of... uh. Plesiosaur. We're so close. It's almost there. Oh my god, they give so much information about it. Plesiosaur is a pescivore that will not hunt any other mob or eat plants. They also cannot <gasps> eat from feeders. Oh, this okay. This makes them solely dependent on the player than most... Oh my god. This, this one's gonna die. I know. I have to take care of her fully. It will eat all vanilla fish, all mod fish, fish spawn, and sio chio so chili. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means either. I don't know, because, right, if it'll eat fish, if you do a fish spawner, then, like, it will keep eating the fish. But that could yeah. crash the server. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. Like, is there anything... Like, <gasps> it's I'm... here, it's here! The egg is here! Oh, my God, it's like an embryo. Whoa, oh. it's a sack. Ugh. <laughs> what do you do with that now? I don't know. Let's go put her in here. Wait, are you sure that's going to work? No. Oh, my God, you're just going to throw this into the water? From an... I'm, I'm going to see what happens when I right-click her in the water, and then I'm going to put a block underneath her and see what happens. Okay. Okay, so it's doing nothing right now. How did you make the other one uh, hatch? I just put it on the land, and then she hatched. But this is like a water animal, so I don't know. If it's the same thing? Yeah. So I'm scared about it. So I'm going to just, like, kill her over here into the middle. Because, like, what if she drowns? <gasps> oh, my oh, my gosh! <gasps> Whoa! What if it drowns? Oh! It's a plesiosaur. She's not gonna drown, I hope. Oh my gosh, is she swimming? 
Yeah, I think she is. Whoa! Oh my god, this is why we made a tank so we could see her. Oh my god, she's so beautiful. You need to put like sea lanterns in there or something. It's really dark. Oh my god, that's genius. Oh Whoa, my god, that is one. so cool. Oh my god, Megan, stay here. Okay. There was there was like a meteor or something over here that spawned a nether portal. What? Randomly, yeah. Just I, right now? No, like a couple days ago. It's like having such a good time. I know. I, I need to go. Like I'm going to the Nether just to grab glowstone really quick. So oh, smart, smart. I, I don't know how to get sea lanterns in this mob. In this mod, other than finding. Wait. It's 1.7, so yeah, maybe they don't have it. Oh, that's sad. The sea lanterns are so cool for underwater things, and plesiosaurs would love. I don't think anyone's been in here yet. Should what? I have not done this? I don't know. Am Just, I gonna die? I hope not. Who will take care of your little baby dinosaurs if you die? You. Me? Link will take care of them. No, Link is going down with me. Oh, okay. <laughs> if, I, if one of us goes down, we both go down. That's ah, you guys are connected. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Welcome back! Do you have glowstone? Yes. Did she get any bigger? Oh, I'm just looking at this tiger that's kind of getting closer to me, so I've been a little scared. I don't see her. <laughs> she see looks her. still little. Yeah, I am going to go on the bottom floor and probably drown. I'll be right back. Oh, be careful. No. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say. Whatever you want to do. Live your best life. Whoa, cool. Yeah, that super helps. It does? Okay, good. Yeah. I just don't want to die yet. I'm not ready to do that. Yeah. You have babies to take care of. Yeah. They rely on me for everything, that, apparently. Literally. I'm going to have to feed this guy every day. This is your life now. <laughs> I know. I thought Link was enough. You apparently signed not. up for this, H. It's worth it, though. She's beautiful. I resurrected a plesiosaur. Oh, he's pretty cool. How often, how often do you see that, huh? How do you even Rest. get the dinosaur bone or DNA stuff? What? Where yeah, do you get that? I, I can show you if I don't drown. Okay. Let me break out of here really quick. Oh my God, she got bigger. Yeah, I thought so. She's, Looks bigger, she, right? She's got, she, she's got her little horn. She barely you know, fits like, in the square when you like look at her. Like the top left square, she's like busting out of it. <laughs> she's busting on out, but she yeah. looks so happy. I love her. I like her too. She's pretty cool. She's not a plesiosaur. Oh. There you go. See, she's easy to feed. You just oh. Some meat. Wow, that is really easy. Yeah. When do you think no. this guy's gonna get hungry? Soon. Very soon. They're supposed to be fully grown after 12 Minecraft days. What? No way! Yeah. Oh man, well I have to come back and check check in on it, see how big it's gotten. Okay, but before you go, let's go find some fossils. Oh yeah, yeah. Show me, show me. So if you go into like, oh right there, found some. What? They're not gonna guarantee them, but you see these blocks that have some like markings on them? Oh yeah, do I need a diamond pickaxe to be able to? Nope, I just... think you could do stone or better. Really? Do you, do you need a pick? Yeah, I have nothing, I'll get it right back. You got Whoa! Bone. Oh, I so just got like, bone. It doesn't give you something every time, but try breaking another. That, that is time? a biofossil? There you go, that's what you need. How do you, what do you do with that? You make a cultivate or an analyzer, and then you put that in the analyzer, and then it'll analyze what it is, and it could be DNA. Or Whoa, could be that's crazy. Yeah, there's more here if you want to keep mining them. Go hard. Get all the stuff you need Woo! to. You swag, go. swag. Damn. Can I get my pick back? Yeah, yeah, I was you, just checking. You need stuff? Is there more? No, 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 no. I, I got to do my little grind. I got to get some stuff. Okay, you go grind. Do you need food at least? Mm, yeah, if you have some. I'll take I'll take a little bit. Here, go craft that into some bread. Thanks, I appreciate it. No problem, that's All right. why I'm here. Well, I'll see you later, H. I'm gonna go back to spawn. I gotta work on my Trivago Hotel. That was you? Yeah. Oh my god, it's so cute. I just saw that earlier. Pretty cute, right? It's just a little in for when people uh, join the server and need a place to stay, you know? Oh, it was adorable. I gotta I update like, it. Oh, it's even got a bathroom. Yeah, well, just, you know, for the, for travelers to, to clean up. You know, it's a little hostile. Oh, okay. Well, I expect you to have dinosaurs by episode two. Hopefully. I'll see you later, H. <laughs> right, bye. Bye. All right, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time with a brand new video.